We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping that you could supply us with some info. Ha! <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. What does this even mean? Do you? <laughs> Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kinda like a parasite or something, huh? <laughs> parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria! Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing! We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to interaction between axons and dendrites. That, they say, I don't know, whatever. This interaction is possible due to the energy in the mitochondria. Uh, the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This is not, this not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Uh, then the combustion from last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 16,000 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present, present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Making a human into a puddle of fluid be a simple task with so much energy. Um, so you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. It is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> this is the most 90s-ass science exposition I've ever heard. I know! <laughs> exactly right! Uh, this guy's been building up this mitochondria rant for like five years, and he's so happy you gave him an excuse to let it out. I know! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria have grown, or sorry, have control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when the cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers form. Oh, fingers first form, sorry. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is revealed, or sorry, eh, when it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates 10 times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. Holy shit! This dude and his fucking rant! The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? Wow, this guy is a fucking mitochondria pervert. <laughs> but you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? Sorry, consciously. <laughs> when I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all! <laughs> Holy fuck. What's this about the powerhouse of the cell, right? <laughs> a mitochondria? <laughs> 
Holy fuck. Holy fuck. The good lord this- hold on, I saw that. Good lord. <laughs> Is he wearing an ask me about mitochondria pin? <laughs> This guy owns a Kiss the Mitochondria shirt he wears while cooking. Uh, Indie Man says, Good lord, the simple version, please, dude. I'm gonna be 50 after this fifth grade science lab junk. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Yes. Yeah, I'm fucking enjoying the hell out of this mitochondria pervert ramp right now. This dude was banned from talking. And uh, my our mitochondria for getting a little too excited about it. He's a fucking perv. Yeah, this guy- yes, thank you, Pikal! This guy probably has a mitochondria body pillow. Yes? Indy, thank you for pinning that message. <laughs> the mitochondria fandom! <laughs> yeah, they might be the most perverted fandom after this conversation here. Dude's backing it up with science as well. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve! Splendid name. Just incredible. <laughs> Eve! The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve! What? <laughs> hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Excuse me, what? Okay. Hey! You better explain what the hell is going on here! Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. What?! <laughs> what is this exchange?! This dude is suspicious as all fuck! Are you serious?! Oh look, cops- cops are bad at their jobs. Oh, surprise. God damn it. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <gasps> wow! Wow, that was an interaction in this game. Okay. <laughs> what a night at the museum. <laughs> what a night at the museum, indeed. Um, Draco says, uh, Draco, by the way, hope you're doing well today. Hello, hello, welcome in. Uh, someone su saw someone suggest turning this into a drinking game. Every time mitochondria said, take a drink. Yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> mitochondria gas. Dude was a huge mitochondria pervert. Come on. Um, when this guy dies and you go to his computer, his search history is a solid wall of mitochondria feet. Mitochondria. Damn it. That feeling's when no mitochondria girlfriend. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I need to save the game because we are coming up on the end of the stream, actually. So hold on. Um. I'm gonna go back to the, 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 the precinct. Holy fuck. That was a fucking experience. That was a fucking experience and a half. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. Yeah, he's a fucking mitochondria pervert. I don't blame you. That man. I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. Uh, what? Uh, okay, we'll be right there. Bitch! Looks like we just got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, bitch. Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo! You weren't already going in turbo?! 
You didn't even speed up. You just turned your fucking cop sirens on. What a bitch. <laughs> Steam rejected it for being appropriate. <laughs> Mitochondria dating sim. Does this get a cool flyover too? Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is the most unnecessary transition screen ever. Like, literally, I'm controlling this, I think, right? No. I, if you hit the, uh, like, the, the camera button at all or whatever, you hit the button at all, it just, like, starts cycling around. Anyway, okay. <laughs>